The film is about Megan Reed, an ex-cop who has dealt with a really bad call on the job. And from that spirals into depression, anxiety, PTSD, and then takes a job, the graveyard shift, no less, at a morgue to basically keep herself out of trouble and to also overcome some of her inner demons as well as exterior demons. Inner demons, just, you know, the fact that she let herself and her team down, you know, from being on the force. And that's something that she'll never be able to forgive herself from. I think there are certain, you know, moments for different people in different fields where if something goes south and, you know, you put that on your, yourself. And it's really hard to let that go. It's creepy. I mean, the morgue itself played a character in the movie because even though it was a set, I mean, even just being here today in this real morgue, I mean, there's an energy to it, you know? You, there's so many, if the walls could only talk, actually, I wouldn't want them to talk, not in this one. <laughs> I would be terrified, but yeah, I mean, it was, it was interesting to be able to have that set sort of play another character because I played off of it throughout the movie. Hannah Grace was a young girl who was possessed and went through an exorcism with her dad right next to her and it didn't fix the problem. So from that, it's what took place after. And I think with so many other exorcism movies, you know, that we've seen in the past, this really takes place after that. So it's really when you die, you die, you don't and your soul takes on a whole other journey of its own. Megan thinks she's hearing things. She is feeling anxiety with herself, but even just the situation because she doesn't want to sound any crazier than she knows people feel about her. You know, she's already dealing with so much that she's trying to separate the two of being like, this is reality, this is not. Is this really happening or is this my mind? And trying to conquer her addiction. Um, it, it's really fascinating just to see the mind games that she has throughout the movie. Because obviously we as the viewers know that so much of that is real. There is somebody there. But when she's watching it back, she's trying to decipher if it's just her own mind or if that is really happening. It's creepy and, you know, there's been a lot of true stories about it. I think that's always something. I know for myself with horror movies, I always look to see if it's like based on a true story. That freaks me out in itself. Um, but because possessions and, I mean, exorcisms have been around for so long, you know it's real. There are, you know, things happen. Things can possess your soul. And uh, that's why I feel like this will never get old. Megan is such a fighter because, A, to be a cop, you all always have to have some sort of strength and bravery that comes with that. That's not a job everybody can do. Um, I also think that because she sticks through with it, you know, till the end, she is, is fighting those exterior demons and her internal ones. It was creepy. It's so funny because you'll see Kirby outside of makeup and her cute little jeans and top and you're like, oh my gosh, you're like sweet as apple pie. With that makeup on, you are terrifying and disgusting. I mean, I'm sorry, but your neck is split and the, the FX were just so incredible. Um, then to see her move like that with all of the effects on, it was, it was crazy. It was very, very creepy. I mean, there were so many people on set that also couldn't even watch her scene. They had to just sort of walk away. Um, so I definitely felt that, especially in like our scenes in the elevator when she was right there, just right there the whole time.
I can tell my fans and just anybody that goes to see this movie, you may think you know what you're about to watch, but you truly have no idea. This is unlike anything you've ever seen before and it really will play with your mind. It is, and that's why I think I was so excited to do this. It was a new experience and uh, one that I will certainly never forget. <laughs> We all deal with our own inner demons in some way, shape, or form. Maybe not to this degree, hopefully not to this degree, but uh, I think people will be able to relate to some part of what Megan is going through on this journey and to why, for some reason or another, we always feel like we have to kind of prove it to ourselves, you know, when a, a hard situation comes about. 